talk about soleares or solea, it's also called, which is a flamenco palo. This uh, features a 12 beat cycle. Okay, there's a couple of palos in flamenco that feature this cycle. Okay, so 12 beats, it's a long ways from our usual four beats. So how do we count 12 beats in a cycle? Okay, this is how they count in Spain. Okay, you divide the 12 beats into two parts. The first six beats are going to be two groups of three notes. Okay, and we're going to count it one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, what's unusual about these three beats is that the accent, instead of being on the one, it's on the last beat of the group. So the accent is going to be on three and on six. So you're going to count it one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, that's your first group. Okay, now the other six beats, you group them in three groups of two. So it's the opposite. But you're always going to put the accent on the second beat of each group. So the accent is going to be on 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, so it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And you start all over. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. All right, so how do we play this? Well, let's see. We're going to learn a very basic uh, soleares compas. First, we're going to do it super, super basic, and then we'll start throwing some embellishments. So for the first three beats of the compas, we're going to play an F with an added second there. Second three beats, so C major chord. So second half of the compas, we're going to alternate between F and an E chord. F and then E chord. It's going to give us a really frigid flamenco sound. Okay, so let's see how we put this together. Also, Soleares is in a frigid mode, which means, and is usually in a minor key, and very slow tempo. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, This is very, very basic, okay? Let me count it with all 12 numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. Okay, on 12, I do a golpe. All right, so let's throw some flamenco elements into this compass and see how we can spice it up. Okay, over F I'm going to do two rasgados on the first two beats. I'm going to do a three finger rasgado with my index coming back, which is going to be four notes per beat. Okay, so that's going to be one beat. One, two, three, four. So one, beat two, and beat three. Since it's an accented beat, I'm going to do index down with golpe. Okay, so let's do the first three beats. One, two, three. Again, one, two, three. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing on the next three beats, but over the C chord. Okay, let me do those six beats again. So. Okay, the second part of the compas. I'm going to play an F chord, but I'm going to arpeggiate it. I'm going to play F, and I'm going to throw this little arpeggio roll. Okay, middle, index, middle, A. Okay, just like an embellishment. Same thing over E. e. Okay, say. Okay, so it's going to be seven, eight, nine. 10, 1, 2, okay, so 11, 12, let's do the whole thing, okay, so that's basically your soleares compas. 